This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Gateway LT Series 10.1 inch netbook computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Gateway LT Series netbook computer. Before we do anything with this or any other netbook or laptop computer, we need to remove all sources of power and that means removing the battery so what we do is we flip the laptop over there's two levers right above the battery we slide both of those outwards and then gently slide the battery out the laptop is now safe to work on also while we're on the bottom I'm going to show you where to find the model number for this laptop there's a white label right above the battery and it says LT 2802U so this is the number you're looking for and please take a look at the description of the video under the video to see what gateway LT series models are compatible with this procedure um, this procedure will work for most uh, netbooks, gateway LT netbooks made after 2010. Okay, now that we removed the battery, the netbook is safe to work on, and the next step is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen to get to the screen assembly. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind some plastic screw covers. So we need to remove these plastic screw covers also. So before we start that, I will go over the tools that we're going to use for this procedure. We have a X-Acto knife or a hobby knife, and that's to remove the plastic screw covers. We also have a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size of the screwdriver. And this is the one that we'll be using the most for most screws. We have a smaller PH00 screwdriver. That's for smaller screws that we might encounter. And a flathead 2 millimeter screwdriver, uh, and that's to get to screws at an angle and maybe to pry things open. So let's get started. We use our hobby knife or exacto knife to remove the plastic screw cover. We dig in under the screw cover and lift up the plastic screw cover to reveal the screw and do the same thing on the other side like so. And then we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the two screws at the bottom one and two and for each set of screws I like to keep them in a separate pile for each step and put the screws in the order in which they were removed so that when I'm putting the laptop back together I can tell which screws go where Okay, now that we remove the screws, we're going to snap off the screen bezel. The screen bezel snaps off, so for this step, what I have to do is put my fingernails or fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and start listening for snapping sounds. Once you hear snapping sounds, that's good. That means the bezel is coming off. And gently work your way around the screen. If you get stuck at a place or if some spot doesn't come off, go to a different place and come back to the place you're stuck at. And slowly work your way around the bezel, like so. And it might take two or three passes. And if a place you're stuck, try pull, pushing it up and pulling it towards you. So this corner I've got to loose. And we keep going, like so. We finally loosened up this corner. Keep lifting it up. And the and the bezel has some plastic hinge covers at the front. So we use our uh, flathead screwdriver to help us along to pry up the hinge covers like so. And the screen bezel is off. So we put the screen bezel to the side and look at the screen assembly. 
for this type of screen, it's called a slim screen. It's mounted on some with some metal tabs on the sides with four screws. So we have to remove these four screws to remove the screen from the screen assembly. And once again, we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the four screws. Like so. And we start a new pile of screws. For this laptop, it doesn't matter as much because there's not too many screws, but for other laptops, it gets harder to keep track of the screws. Now, for this part, you don't want to remove the two screws at the bottom. You just want to remove this screw that's a little bit higher, about an inch higher from the two screws on the bottom that are holding the hinges in, just to make sure you don't remove the wrong screws. So remove this screw. One. And two. Like so. Okay, once you remove the four screws, gently start tilting the screen away from the screen assembly. And right away we see that the webcam cable is right on top is moving along with it. So there's some adhesive on the back there. We hold the webcam cable with our fingertip and gently move the screen forward and lay the screen down. And we see that there's some adhesive on the bottom for the video cable that's preventing us to put the screen all the way down. So what we want to do is gently lift up this video cable, lift the adhesive up from the screen, being careful not to damage the cable. And once we lift it up, we can put it down. For this type of screen, there's only one connector. It's a LED connector at the bottom and it's held down by some adhesive so we have to lift up this adhesive also so we lift up the yellow adhesive tape either with our fingernails or with the exacto knife and we put the adhesive tape to the side and there's another adhesive tape that's attached to the connector we lift this up slowly until the connector is free and sometimes there's adhesive on the back of the connector also and we do that okay so finally we freed up all the adhesive and let's pull the connector back and it comes out and the screen is free now before we go any further I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector you're going to when you have the new screen so you're going to slide this connector all the way in and you'll feel but not hear two clicks when it's all the way in so let's get a close-up see what the proper connection looks like see if we can get a good focus okay let's move the laptop away from where there's not so much light there we go Okay, this is our, this is actually, yeah, this is actually a proper connection. So let's make it a proper connection. Okay, now we have a good focus. All right, pause the video right here. And you see that there's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. This is a proper connection. Uh, a bad connection is the biggest source of trouble I see when people do this at home. So make sure your connection looks like this when you're done. Okay, so let's keep moving. We're going to disconnect. We're going to disconnect the connection again one more time and take a look at the screen. This type of screen is called a 10.1 LED slim screen. So it's fairly common and you should not have any trouble finding it. This one has a glossy finish. Some have a matte finish. So if you have a preference for one or the other, make sure it's stated on the description because they're shipped at random. We at Screen Surgeons only stock glossy for your information. Okay, next let's take a look at the part number for this laptop model for this laptop screen model and the number is N101L6 
dash L zero D. You just need to search for N one O one L six and you will find it. Okay, next to order the screen, you can order this from somewhere else or you can order it from us. So what you get when you order it from us is um, free email technical support. If you have problems during the installation, we offer you free technical support. We also have warehouse in New York and Tucson. So you get your screen fast in two or three days. We also ship globally. If you're outside the United States, we can most likely ship it to your country. Just go through a normal checkout procedure. And also, when you order the screen from us, you receive this free toolkit. This has all the tools that you need to do the work, and it's the exact same toolkit as I'm showing you here. And finally, we have a two-year warranty on all our screens. So to order from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out with your email address and the laptop model. And we'll reply by email with the link to purchase the right screen online. All right, once you do get the screen in, connect it as I showed you, and then mount it on the back of the screen assembly using the four screws that I showed you. Snap the screen bezel back on, put the two screws on at the bottom and the screw covers, and that's it. And hopefully your laptop will be as good as new. Okay, that's it. My name is Eugene Panrickwich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.